In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, today we celebrate the feast of one of the four great writers of the Holy Gospels, St. Mark the Evangelist. The winged lion is the symbol of St. Mark. Growing up as a teenager serving in the choir at St. Mark's Church in Sandakan, I often wondered the meaning of St. Mark's symbol being displayed at the century wall. A huge drawing of a man holding a quill writing on a parchment and with a winged lion behind him. At one point, I even thought that man was Jesus. It was eight years ago that I discovered the real meaning behind this symbol. St. Mark is represented as a lion because his gospel begins with the voice of John the Baptist crying out in the wilderness, Vox clamantis in deserto, which means the voice of one crying in the desert, Mark chapter 1, verse 3. His crying out voice is said to have sounded like that of a roaring lion as John the Baptist goes preaching about repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The lion is also a symbol of courage, and St. Mark courageously faced a martyr's death. While he was celebrating Mass as a bishop in Alexandria, his persecutors seized him, tied a rope around him, and dragged him through the streets, then imprisoned and killed him. It was believed that St. Mark wrote his gospel for the early Christians who were undergoing persecution in Rome. He emphasizes in his gospel the Lord's words that carrying our cross is a way of following him. Today, our cross can be the time in which we live where it is hard to be a faithful Christian. Our cross may be someone important or even someone close in our life. Our cross may be the vices and tendencies within ourselves, the daily and real struggle of our addictions, haunting us day and night. And this cross has affected our relationship with God and others, and many more crosses in our life. The question we need to ask ourselves is this, how do we embrace the crosses in life? We can turn those crosses around from being obstacles into ways of following Jesus, our risen Christ. Our effort to carry that cross may not be noticed by others, but it will be our unique connection to our risen Christ. Just as two people who have the same serious illness know the real struggle about each other simply by having the same illness, our union with Christ does not come from knowing a great struggle about Jesus, but from carrying our cross and following Jesus in his obedience to the Father's will. Now that's the challenging part of being a Christian. We might think that to know Jesus is to follow him. St. Mark's Gospel suggests that it is the other way around. The more we follow Jesus, the more deeply we will know him. However, St. Peter in his first letter warned us that in order to follow Jesus more closely, first, we need to be calm, but vigilant at the same time. Because our enemy, the devil, is prowling around like a lion, a roaring lion, looking for someone to eat. And when this happened, we need to roar back even louder, stand up to him with strong faith, 
and courage and know that God of all grace, who called us to eternal glory in Christ, will see that all is well again. He will confirm, strengthen, and support us, and his power lasts forever and ever. Dear friends, during this time of pandemic, may all of us draw more closely to God and deepen our relationship with him. With the crosses we bear in life, may all of us grow stronger in our faith. And I pray today, especially for all parishes, cities, communities, ministries, who falls under the patronage of St. Mark and all who bear the name of Mark. We may not be able to celebrate this feast as grandeur as past years, but may today's feast be a reminder for us of our crosses that connects us to our brothers and sisters all over the world who are suffering the same thing. And we look forward to the day when we can celebrate this feast in a festive manner again. St. Mark the Evangelist, holy and devoted saint of God, pray for us. Amen. Let us now call upon God the Father who will see that all is well again. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless us all and our loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you a peaceful and blessed weekend.